Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Um, I'm really excited because I've got a ring light at last so I can film videos um, at this time of day and just um, kind of film more and film in the evenings because it gets dark here um, in the south of the UK at about half past three, four o'clock at this time of year. Um, and that's kind of the time that I have most time to film because um, I work all day, so I've decided to buy this light. Um, I'm sure that the lighting still isn't perfect. I'm just trying to look in the the viewfinder and have a look. Um, so I'm really hoping this is gonna change the way that I film and really improve things. Um, obviously, you know, I still would like to um, keep improving the lighting and maybe get some more lights, but at the moment this is what I can afford, so I'm hoping that it's gonna really enhance the videos. A Couple of other bits of news. Um, I got married over the Christmas holidays. Um, on the 29th of December, I have got like a whole kind of Christmas holiday vlog um, that I created that I'm going to put together and um, I would like to put some clips of it on YouTube to show you guys what I got up to. Um, so look out for that quite soon. I've also got a couple of other videos coming up soon which includes um, a haul video which is the stuff that you can see in here and also includes my thoughts on the new Makeup Geek Sparklers which I received recently. But on with today's video. So um, I'm going to do a video all about Colourpop, all about Colourpop. So uh, Colourpop, basically I've been looking on um, on YouTube and especially on Kathleen Light's channel, which I'm obsessed with, I saw Colourpop eyeshadows on there and they looked amazing, but I could not get them shipped to the UK. And I was so disappointed because it would just be so amazing to have them shipped. I don't know how Makeup Geek do it, because Makeup Geek do it for like six or seven pounds, I think it works out as, and they're shipped over here. Um, with Makeup Geek you almost always get a customs charge though, um, which is kind of annoying, but the shipping itself is fairly cheap. So I was racking my brains as to how I could get some Colourpop items sent over and I found two ways. Um, the first way was that I asked a friend of mine, Abby, who I know from YouTube, whether she would order some stuff and have it shipped to me, which she did. And then also I found another method called Ship It To, um, which I'll explain at the end of the video. So I'll talk about postage and shipping a bit more then. But basically I've got quite a few things from Colourpop which I'd like to go through. And um, this is the box which contains all the goodies. Um, it's a really lovely box and inside as well, you get a couple of really nice things. Um, you get a couple of postcards that kind of give you tips and tricks on how to wear the products and also you get a little handwritten note. Um, this was ordered before Christmas, so it says winter is coming, Merry, Merry Christmas. Actually, I got it in January, but anyway. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then inside I got two lippy sticks one eyeliner and then lots of their sh super shock shadows including the Kathleen Lights collections where the light is and where the night is so this video might be a little bit um, long and rambly as I explain to you and go through all of those different um, eyeshadows that I got so uh, let's begin uh, let's start with the lippy sticks. So they're li blah, 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 blah. so the lippy sticks from ColourPop come in a little box like this, and they are five dollars each, which works out at about three pounds. So they're really, really good value. Um, so far, when I've been wearing them, I must say, um, I have had a, like my lips have been slightly sore, but I can't work out whether that's because of these or because of something else. Anyway, the first one I got is the one that Kathleen likes, who's amazing, by the way. If you don't watch her YouTube videos, you really should get. On her channel as soon as you can um, I'll try and link it below but just type in Kathleen lights she's my favorite youtuber um, her and Miss Budget Beauty are my two top youtubers that I watch all the time um, so I got this one which was designed by her and it's called Lumiere the lippy stick comes in this nice white packaging with kind of holographic writing and the color on the end when you open it it looks like this and you can twist it up and down um, and this is a matte shade and this, as I say was designed by Kathleen lights uh, so Oh, nice. I just ate a cookie. Hmm. So there's that shade. It's a kind of a... I don't know how you describe it. Pinky, but it's kind of quite mm, like muted tone. And it stays on a long time. It's really nice. The other lippy stick I got was another one that she really recommends, which is called Frenchie, which is another matte, and it's a um, kind of a pillar box red matte shade. I'm not sure whether this really suits me, but I will swatch it for you. There's the swatch of it, um, of Frenchie. So those were the two lippy sticks that I got. Um, 
let's move on to the eyeliner. So the eyeliner I got, the eyeliners look amazing and I've discovered they are amazing, but I only got one because I just don't use eyeliner that much. Um, I don't really know why, I, I just don't. So anyway, um, this is in the shade Overboard and it is a brown, but it's kind of like a metallic bronze maybe, um, I'll swatch it here. And it's got an amazing kind of metallic sheen to it. And this, guys, stays on forever. It sets completely and it's just not going to go anywhere. I'll put a bit underneath my eyes. I don't have it on today, but... Um, I haven't tried it in my waterline yet, but Kathleen Light said that it stay, they stay on your waterline um, all day. And they're amazing. So, yeah, I'll be interested to... Oh, I've got a bit there. I'll be interested to see how that wears, but yeah. So those are the lippy sticks and the eyeliner. So let's move on to the super, super shock shadows. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So I've got eleven individual ones, and then I've got another eight um, which are in these two collections. So we'll start with the individual ones that I got. I got these just from seeing swatches on YouTube, completely randomly. Um, just getting a wipe. Basically, I really love metallic -y, uh, shadows. Today on my eyes, I've got the unique tenacious cream shadow, which. Um, stays on for ages on most people. On me, I must say it didn't, um, it creased, but I have recently got the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour, which is in my haul, um, which I'll do a haul video quite soon. And um, it stayed on all day and I'm so pleased because I love it. It's such a beautiful gold shade. I've also got a Morphe matte eyeshadow on. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's get on with the super shock, shock shadows. I can't say it, super shock shadows. <coughs> Got a really croaky voice, I've been in a pantomime all week. So, these come in a little pot like this, and the consistency, the texture, is weird. It's like a kind of creamy powder, jelly sort of powder. This is the first one, it's called Get Lucky, and this is a an ultra metallic shade. So, these are extremely pigmented and extremely shiny and amazing. I hope you can see that there. So that's Get Lucky. These are $5 each as well, so again, £3. And you go on there, it's so tempting to spend so much because they're so gorgeous. The next one is called Cricket, and this is a metallic shade. Uh, we'll swatch that just underneath. So with the metallics, they're more like a kind of satin eyeshadow with a bit of glitter. The ultra metallics are literally like pure metal, really, going on your eyes. Um, they do work really well on the eyes. Quite often when you swatch things, I think they kind of come out less really intense that you would like them, but with these you can pack them on, it's best to use your finger. The next shade is La La, which is another ultra metallic. Um, they come with this really nice um, texture on them, but as soon as you use them it starts to wear off because they're so kind of creamy and buttery. So let's have a look at that one, another ultra metallic. As I said, that's La La, there it is. And it's really important with these that you close them in between using them nice and tight because otherwise they can go dry. The next one's quite similar to La La and it's called Sequin, um, but this is a metallic. This has got, like, even though it's metallic, it not an ultra metallic, it has a lot more glitter in. Um, so, and it's slightly more, um, what, reddish, I suppose. So there's that one. Sequin and I'll do one more and then I need to wipe my hand. Uh, this one is called Bay. This one's weird, it's kind of like a green, with green glitter I suppose, but then it's kind of duochrome, so it also looks brown and it also looks purple. <laughs> um, I'll do that down the side. I don't know whether you can see all the colours in there, but it's kind of like a browny, greeny, purpley colour. So that's Bay. So yeah, they're the first five. Um, so far, I have worn quite a few of them. They last really well, um, especially the ultra metallics, and um, they're just amazing, really. It is gutting that they don't ship to the UK, but I will explain at the end. Um, the next one is called Dare, and this is a really bright purple with um, a kind of a blue duochrome to it. I must say that this one is probably not as pigmented as the others. You need to kind of layer it up, but it is a pretty incredible finish. So that is, sorry, I should be holding them like this really. That's Dare. 
The next one is Game Face. I actually got this on eBay from England, um, but the stuff on eBay is so expensive. There's Game Face. This is a really true kind of copper colour. Um, sorry, I forgot to say this one's ultra metallic. There's Game Face. Uh, the other one, Dare, is metallic. Okay, so we've got four more before we move on to the collections. This one's called Envy. This is like a black with loads of different colours in it. The kind of purpley and goldy glitters, I think. It's pretty intense. I'll swatch it here. That is mad pigmentation. Yeah, black, and I can see kind of um, purple and green glitters in there. There it is. That's metallic. Oh, I'm getting a really sore back sitting here. I don't know why. Oh. Um, right, okay, so I've got three more. I've left these in the boxes because I just wanted you to show the, uh, see the little boxes they come in. It says, keep the magic in, closed jar, tightly after use. So let's take this out. This is, I haven't even swatched this, this is Partridge and this is a pearlized shadow. So I decided to maybe go with some ones that weren't the metallics. This is Partridge. That is amazing. That's like a green and brown. Um, yeah, so that's Partridge. And the next one is a silver and this is called Liberty and it is oh it's an ultra metallic I'm such a sucker for these metallic ones oh, we'll do this down here I mean that is just amazing they're so it's so creamy it's, it is like putting your finger in I don't know like a cream shadow but it's not cream it's so bizarre. I've lost the lid. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, and then the last one before we move on to the collections is, my hands are covered in eyeshadow, uh, this one which is a gold. Um, this is called Fringe and it's a metallic. This is more of a silvery gold compared with um, Get Lucky. Swatch this down the side. Um, it's a lot more subtle and kind of glittery. Again, I think I said it's metallic. That's fringe. Okay, so they are all the individual shadows that I got. They are just incredible. I love them so much, I can't begin to tell you. I think they might be my all-time favourite eyeshadows in terms of the colours and the amount of glitter and how metallic they are and how incredibly well-priced they are, so cheap. Amazing, love it. So, just rubbing my hand because I'm going to show you the Kathleen Lights ones now. So, Kathleen Lights um, teamed up with Colourpop and she did um, a collection called Where the Light Is. And then she did another one very recently, it only came out on Boxing Day, called Where the Night Is, which I've also got. So we'll start with Where the Light Is. So basically you get four shades, like shadows like this, it's $20, so it's the same as buying individuals. Um, you can now get these individually but you don't get the nice box, of course, if you don't buy them together. And inside the box, you've just got your four eyeshadows inside there. I've got like, weird cotton wool stuck to me. Um, so the four from this collection are as follows. The first one that I found is Blaze, which is a metallic. I hate swatching them because they're so beautiful. Um, went to look at, so this is Blaze. And this is a, hmm, a bronze, I would say, uh, with some nice gold glitter. The next one in the collection is called Kathleen Lights. And this was based roughly around Amber Lights by um, MAC, which I've also got actually. But it's way better. <laughs> Look how metallic that is. It's called Pearlized, but that looks to me like one of the metallics completely. Let me get Amber Lights so we can compare them. Okay, I'm gonna swatch Amber Lights next to it. It's Amber Lights, it's in a palette, you see. There's the comparison between the two. So I'd say that um, this one, Kathleen Lights, is a lot more, slightly lighter and definitely a lot more metallic-y looking. So yes. Anyway, sorry about that little interlude. Uh, where are we? We're doing the last two 
in the Where the Light Is collection. So this one is called Glow and it's a matte. Okay, so this is a nice neutral matte, um, which is useful to have. Even the mattes feel kind of all creamy. Um, sorry, I've got other ones kind of left over on my hand because they're so pigmented. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it'd be a nice, um, kind of like a brow bone shade or like a blending shade. So that's that one, Glow. I hope you saw Porter. This is Porter. Um, this is a burgundy with kind of like silvery goldy glitter, I would say. Um, so yeah, so that's the last one in that second quad. And it's amazing. So uh, yeah, let's talk about getting it shipped here. Okay, so the first thing I did was speak to my friend Abby, who lives in America. So she ordered on their website and she got free shipping to her house. Um, she then shipped it over here and I think it was about $16 or it could be $19 to ship it over here um, which isn't that bad that was cool like I was happy with that um, so basically I PayPal'd her the money for the um, eyeshadows I also um, PayPal'd her obviously the money for the um, shipping sorry I'm trying to clean all my stuff I've got eyeshadow everywhere I'll do it in a minute um, I paid her the money for the shipping and <coughs> then it came, you know, it arrived. Because she sent it to me, um, she sent it as a gift and I didn't get any customs charges on it, which was really cool. And everything was fine. Anyway, I then decided I really wanted to place another order just after Christmas. Absolutely in love with the, the Where the Night Is palette and I wanted the Where the Light Is palette as well. So I decided to go and place an order and I'd heard about a company called Ship It To. It's spelled ship and then I-T-O, Ship It To, Ship It To, whatever. Um, and what you do is you go onto their website and you sign up with an account and you basically give them your address and you have to pay, I think it's a $5 charge to start your account up. Um, but you can put that towards shipping in the future. You then get your stuff shipped to your own P.O. box, essentially, with them. So you get a U.S. address. They tell you when the package arrives at their warehouse. You then pay them the correct amount of shipping, and you can choose from loads of different shipping op options. Some of them, like DHL, are about £30, so clearly you don't want to do that. Um, you can also, but you can also choose cheaper ones. Um, I've got an app on my phone, and I've used it now. I thought, I'm gonna risk it, see what it's like, and actually, it was absolutely brilliant. From when they shipped it, it probably took about a week and a half, two weeks to arrive, which was pretty cheap. Um, I chose kind of the um, basic economy shipping from them. So it's literally just US airmail. So it's not kind of really special extra cost or whatever. And it did not incur a customs charge. You're always running the risk of incurring a customs charge. There's an eight pound handling fee as well. So I think I've paid on everything I've ordered from America, I've probably paid 11 pound three times over the last kind of two years. Um, but for this, I didn't. Um, so it cost $17 to get it shipped here um, just by airmail. So considering it was free shipping to their warehouse, it's not actually that bad. Um, so I was really happy with their service as well and they've been really really helpful they actually send you a photo of your package when it arrives you can choose to have them open it if you want if you want them to check anything or you want them to repack it or like put more bubble wrap or anything like that um, and I've just found them brilliant so really it means that you can get anything you want shipped over from America you are running the risk of the customs charge like I said I didn't get one because they don't check every single package but you are liable to and if it's around the same kind of cost as mine, like $40, that kind of cost, you're looking at around £11. Um, so you do need to be aware of that extra possibility that there could be more cost kind of attached to um, what you're buying. But when the shadows are so cheap anyway and so amazing, like I totally think it's 100% worth it. So yeah, I hope that video was helpful. Um, comment below, let me know if you've got any Colourpop stuff, what you think of it, especially if you're in the UK. And uh, I will speak to you all soon. Bye.